Hello, hello, and welcome to the Next Level Loan Officers podcast, the number one podcast for loan officers by loan officers with real originators in the trenches, just like you every single day. If they can go there, how come I can't go there? Well, you can. Like if you don't water your plants, you don't have future crops, you can't feed your family, you can't make a living. This is watering your crops. You have to find your community and you have to dig in. If it wasn't for you guys, I can tell you, Probably my trajectory would have been a completely different one. We'll see you on the next Next Level Loan Officers podcast. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Next Level podcast. And some of you may not be familiar with this voice. You may be used to hearing the unbelievably good looking Shane Kidwell, but he is not here today. He does not like our guest. They are sworn enemies in the mortgage world. And so he faked the <laughs> sickness. He is, he is under the weather as, as we would say in the biz. And so I'm Kyle Draper. I am your host and we've got, we've got a special guest today that if I'm being honest, some of his tactics annoy the crap out of me. And, and he is here to school me and make me regret ever saying that on the internet. So welcome to the show, the CEO and founder of Loans on Demand, Luke Shankula. What's up, Kyle? How's it going, man? Why did you put down what you were drinking from the entire time we were talking? Well, I, I had to because, uh, you know, I can't speak while I'm drinking here. I'll drink. I'll drink just just for you. Perfect. Guys, if you all if you're watching the video, you can see it. He's he's he says he's not getting high. I don't know that I 100 percent believe it, but it it is an interesting contraption that he's he claims that there's tea in. Claims. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. I think but, I mean, you know, getting high on uh, on caffeine is what I'm doing. Oh, I thought you were going to pull a high on Jesus. Oh, you know. I mean, that yeah, too, yeah. So, bro, we are so fortunate because we've got you on the show today. You are in our Next Level Community Wednesday teaching to to our, our, our paid group. And so, bro, it's an honor to have you. Thanks for being here. Man, thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, I think we're going to probably drop some value today. But uh, the, the Wednesday, I got some cool things prepared for Wednesday. Uh, I'm, I'm using some some cool little strategies. So excited Woo-hoo. to dive in, man. So what I want to dive in today, because I, I get annoyed by you, even though you're my Thanks. friend and I Thanks. love you. And we actually have to remind people that we're friends because we tend to crap on each other in, in the <laughs> comments of, of each other's posts. So, so it could look as if we're sworn enemies, but we are not. We, we do it in jest. It is fun for you and I. But bro, every day, every day you put up some sort of post that says, hey, do you want the five ways to do X? You know, drop your email in the comments, say yes, and I'll DM you. Hey, do you want to know how to do these four things? Every day, bro. So one, the fact that you're able to come up with all this as consistent as you do is unbelievable to me. And so I want to break that down. But then I also want you, and maybe we should work backwards, because I want you to fix me because I'm so annoyed by posts like this, yet you do them every day. You're a brilliant marketer, so you're doing it on purpose. And so can we break it down? Yeah, man, I am. Uh, so a couple things, right? People people say this all the time, and I and so I do post pretty consistently. Uh, I don't post every single day, so uh, you know maybe it looks like I'm posting every day, but it's it's pretty consistent. Probably a couple times a week, I'll drop some sort of value when it comes to uh, feels like it's at least fourteen times of yeah week. yeah, not, not quite, but you know, hey, you know what? You're just seeing my content everywhere, which means it's that's working, true. which that's means true. it's working, right? And so, yeah. so that's the biggest thing, right? Is I'm not a, you know, maybe that's not my favorite way to do it either, but the truth is. We also have to play into, into the idea that the algorithm matters. Like, yes, like part yeah. of it is you have to give away value. Uh, but if you are a person of value, you're giving away value. You also need to play off the algorithm a little bit as well. So let's break it down real quick. And and th- what, what I'm doing with those posts, a lot of times people come to me and they're like, why don't you just post the link in the comments? Why don't you just put it right here? Why don't you just do it? And I'm like, cool, I could do that. Sure. But here's the, here's the problem with 
just putting the link in the comments. What it, that's the problem with just putting the the link in the video or sorry, the link in the initial post or a video in the initial post is you're not going to get anywhere near the amount of reach right. for a couple of reasons. One, Facebook hates you trying to take people off their platform, right? So if you decide to put a link anywhere, I believe they used to, they used to be easier where you could put it in the first comment and Facebook wouldn't penalize you. I, I don't think that that's true anymore. I do believe, especially with links like YouTube, Facebook is penalizing reach unless you wait, you know, if you wait, like, let's say until you have 10 or 15 or 20 comments, then you can probably start posting the link. And then typically you're not going to get that reduction in reach as much right. as you do if you're doing it right away. Uh, but the other thing too is, all right, so this is called a two-step post, right? So I call this two-step post, not my original thought. This came from, I don't know who, who made this up, but uh, it's called the two-step post. And what that just means is you're, you're making someone take an action and then you're going to do something because of their action, right? So what you're trying to do is one, let's game the algorithm, right? So I'm going to put a post up. Let me know if you want the thing of value that I'm that I'm presenting. And here's the truth. <sighs> you can't just start doing this from the beginning. If you've never done this before, if you've never presented value to your audience, the reason I'm able to get away with this is because I, for the last six years, have posted consistently and, and put out value. So I've built uh, brand equity or whatever you want to call it, expert, expert equity in the market and the people that are friends with me on Facebook. So what you're doing with this is you're, you're, you're gaming the algorithm. So you put the post up, people have to start commenting. So what you could do is you could, Hey, you know what? After everybody comments, you could put the link there. And sometimes I do that, but here's what happens. Now people can go click on that and then click the link. Now all of a sudden they're not engaging in your post. Now all of a sudden Facebook is not like, Hey, you know what? This person's putting out valuable comment uh, content. That's getting a bunch of comments and likes and things like that. So let's stop showing this post. So what you're ultimately doing by not putting the, the link there is you're forcing people to drop a comment. And by doing that, you're yep. showing Facebook that you are a valuable content creator because ultimately they want people to stay on their platform as long as possible. So if you can keep people on the platform, the other thing that you're doing is if you send them the, the, the link via DM, you started a conversation. We've talked about this before on, on many, Come many on, calls. Uh, and so you, you get into the DMs, right? Now you have a conversation with some of the DMs. What Facebook's going to do is they're going to think that you're friends because you're having a conversation via DMs and they're going to prioritize your content in their newsfeed. So there's multiple reasons for that. And then also you're dealing with the law of reciprocity, right? People feel compelled to comment. You're also dealing with, you see a bunch of people and people are like, they get FOMO. Oh, I need to see this too. So let me comment. Let me comment. I honestly sometimes have people comment multiple times on the same post, which is kind of, you know, frustrating to be honest because i'm like you, you don't know what you're asking for um but uh, it happens it's happened more than once and it's pretty funny but anyway that's that's the the theory or the actual practicality behind why this this makes sense right because if you post a video directly on facebook it generally doesn't get as good of reach right it used to sure. be maybe a couple years ago you would get a bunch of reach but it doesn't really do that anymore secondly especially recently i've been trying to grow my youtube channel so why would I post a video on Facebook if I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel? Sure. Right? So it's yeah. like, you know, there's, there's, there's also other reasons why I do certain things as well. Also trying to get people with a pixel, things like that. There's other reasons why yeah. you may want them to go to a different place. So anyway. So, okay. So while you were explaining that, I put a two-step post on Facebook. All right. So we'll see what happens over the course of, of our podcast recording. And bro, I got to tell you, I feel so icky creating content like this. And I know it's a self-limiting belief that I'm putting on myself, but but using this as a coaching session for me, mm -hmm. bro, for someone that does this as consistently and does it well as you, like you do, like how do you overcome that that ickiness? I didn't do it for because years, you man. You do get comments. Of people feeling negative about it, so help a bro out. Well, I mean, uh, I, I just recently finally was able to switch over to the professional mode or whatever it's called, so I can actually see the the data and the metrics, and I can see just how much engagement I get, uh, and, and obviously I can see with my eyeballs how many comments and things like that are, are coming onto the onto the pages and my posts. And I, I, here's the thing, right? Like you actually have to be a person of value. If you're just putting out crap people are going to catch on, right? So one of the yeah. things that I'll say is like, the stuff I'm putting out in these posts is generally, I'm giving away stuff that I should probably be charging for. 
Sure. And so from that perspective, people see it and they see value in it. And they're, they're more likely to, to ask again because they see, man, this guy's actually putting out great value. Uh, he's not just trying to sell me via the, the DMs. He's not getting slimy. He's not doing anything weird. He's literally just sending it to me via the DMs. I haven't had anybody like in the DMs be like, oh, why are you doing it this way? It's always the people on the post that don't want to do, yeah. be the person that comments. Yeah. And then you'll see them, but then you'll see them post, hey, here's this valuable thing. One like. And you're like, yeah. okay. Or you could have actually reached a larger audience, actually helped more people instead of getting... You know, like you're actually helping more people by getting more reach because if you get more reach, you're reaching more people, right. which means which means they can see your stuff, which means they'll get your stuff, which means hopefully they implement your stuff, or at least they're in your circle and you can continue to drip value on them over time. Yeah. Yeah. So so let's talk to loan officers for a sec. Sure. They they want to do one of these two step approaches. What what type of of post do you think an LO could do to create similar buzz the way you are with, with this type of content? Well, it depends, right? I mean, uh, if they are trying to communicate to consumers, then what is it that the consumer wants? What does the consumer needs? Uh, maybe it's a first time home buyer guide. Eh, that's kind of boring to be honest. Maybe yep. it's, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, let's call it a, I don't know why I'm trying to think of what would be valuable to a consumer because it's a little harder, right? Like, you know, oh, you could be like, hey, you know, I put together a a list of 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 condos in this area or in the condos in this area that are yeah. whatever uh, FHA approved. I don't know, something something random like that. Or easier for me is is maybe the realtor side. What does a realtor want? I mean, it's the same the same stuff that I'm putting out is the same stuff that would probably work for a realtor. They need more business, so they want to generate more leads. Uh, they, they want to figure out how to use AI. They want it. Like, what are the things that they actually want and care about? How can they make, how can you make their business better? That's the, that's the place to start. So many people started like, well, I'm going to put out these mortgage things. Like no one really cares about the mortgage. Let's be honest. Yeah. No one cares about mortgage programs. Like unless you can help them get more people in the contract, unless you can help them close more deals. And if you position it in that way, Hey, here's a, here's a, uh, sort of, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of like a, specific thing like let's call it like the the california dream for all you like hey i put together uh uh all the guidelines for the california california dream for all for real estate agents drop a comment if you want to if you want the the document or i've seen uh russell petty puts out hey i have 186 a pay, 186 page uh ai prompt for agents boom all right you got a bunch of prompts go compile a list of prompts you know there's, well, a, there's a whole bunch of ways you could do that an, another easy way, right, would be like our industry is so heavy on on attending events. Yeah. That like after a big event, I could say, you know, just got back home from the blank blank event, and and and, and I, I you know I put all my takeaways in one document. If you want yep. those takeaways, hundred percent comment down below, right? Like so, it, it doesn't always have to be direct to like I need leads. Right. We, we know that leads equal people. And so we really just need to be talking to more people. Right. 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 It's, it could be anything, right? It could be, uh, Hey, I put together a strategy on how to grow your YouTube channel. I put together a strategy on how, you know, any of those things It's like getting in front of more people. Hey, you know what? We did a training on the best strategies to, uh, to convert more leads. Uh, or, Hey, I put together a sales script for you to be able to, you know, close more deals. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Right. So what would you say if, because you said, right, like people have to actually see you as a person of value before this works. Right. So for the, for the typical LO or realtor that maybe hasn't really used their social for value, mm -hmm. they're just using it to like pitch their stuff. Are there a couple tips that you would give them as to like how to begin to be seen as that person of value for this to work? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we've talked about this many times uh, before. And I, if you see my camera going out, my battery died. Sorry about that. But uh, oh, no, yeah. the 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 thing that you have to think about is this: is like people are attracted to people that are similar to, to them, right? And so, what is the type of content? that your ideal client, your your ideal uh, referral partner, what is the type of content that they're going to want to see? A lot of times people, first of all, 
put out, stop putting out as much business content, right? Like, yes, you can put out yeah. business content, the stuff I'm talking about, but a lot of it is like, talk about your family, talk about your, your, your hobbies, talk about your likes, your dislikes. You know, if you're, if you're super political, talk about politics. I wouldn't necessarily yeah. recommend it if you're not political, but I mean, again, there's people that, that win with politics. I don't really care that much uh, about politics. So I stay out of it for the most part. Right. And so yep. it just really depends on who you are as a person. That's the main thing that I would say is be authentic. And I know that sounds cliche, but, but really it is, is be yourself. I, mean, I think you talked about it on, on one of our trainings was like, if you, if you're someone that says the F word, say the F word, <laughs> right? right? Like be yourself. Yeah. If you're someone yeah. who wears a suit all the time, wear your suit. If you're someone who doesn't wear a suit, why are you wearing the suit in your profile picture? And so thinking about from that okay. perspective is, is first, right? Is like, okay, first you need to be seen as a person that is, that is uh, someone that can be connected to, right? Someone that can, that you can be relatable to, right? That's the first thing, right? Put out, I'd say 60 to 70% of your content, if not more, should be that type of content. And then when yeah. it comes to being a person of value, again, it, it, it starts with like, what is, who is the consumer or sorry, who is the target market that I'm going after? You really need to come up with two different types of content if you are a loan officer. Consumer specific content, if you want to attract consumers, if you're only trying to attack realtors, then okay, fine. Then you're going to put out uh, realtor specific content. But what do you have to do? You you have to actually put out value. You have to engage with them because then there's the, again, the law of reciprocity. You have to engage with their posts because you can't just go out and post a thing saying, Hey, I got this thing. You've never engaged on anybody else's post. You've never built relationships with anybody right. online. You're ghost, you're posting and ghosting. You know, that that's a lot of what goes into actually being a person of value is you actually have to engage with other people on social media, yeah, man. right? Well, it would be, it would be the equivalent of you and I go to coffee and you talk the whole time, but I, I say nothing back. Right. I, you, we would never go to coffee again. Right. And so I have to agree with what you're saying, make you feel good about what you're saying. Like, otherwise we're, that's going to be a one and done relationship and it won't create any more fruit. Yes. And so we're all great at that at coffee, right? Like you go to lunch with somebody, you don't worry about that, but man, what the internet's just made it so freaking weird for people. hundred percent. hundred percent. Talk to us about, because the, we're going to get into some of this on Wednesday on, on the, the, the call with, with our next level community. But like, bro, you, like I do this for a living and you post so much stuff that is truly full of value, giving away guides, giving away tips, or right? Like how are you always able to have something of value to give away? Is it AI generated? It like, can you open the, the curtain to a little bit about like how you're always able to package stuff together? Yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and before we get to that real quick, I just wanted to touch one second on so we talked about posting on like I, my main platform is Facebook. I have tried the same two-step posts, posts on LinkedIn. It doesn't work. And here's why, because yeah. I haven't built the relationships with the people on that platform. So yeah. right now my goal with, with LinkedIn is just to build the relational equity first, be a person of value commenting back to people and stuff like that before I become the person that, uh, that does it from that perspective. So yeah. um, then, okay. So now going back to your question, right. Is, where am I creating content from? One, I've been doing this. Uh, I've been working with loan officers and been doing marketing for since 2017. So I have a ton of experience. Uh, I understand the pain points of my audience. I've taken the time to understand what that is. I've had conversations with thousands of loan officers at this point. Uh, so I understand what they need and what they want, right? That's from one perspective. Uh, the other, From the other side is I am using platforms uh, like AI to help me come up with content, to help me come up with scripts, to help me come up with ideas. Uh, and my two main platforms that I use for most of that is ChatGPT uh, and Claude uh, AI, right? Those are the two main platforms. Uh, and we will be talking a little bit more about how I use those platforms. Um, you know, I started a YouTube channel. What was this? Uh, technically back in like November of last year, but really February was when I started to put out a lot of good content. Yeah. Um, and, and part of that was because I, I put out my first two or my first three videos and I just felt like they were, eh, they were okay. Right. They weren't great. They're two, three minute videos. And I was like, if I'm going to do this YouTube thing, I'm going to put out as, as, as great a value as I possibly can. So it took some time to figure out the process, but, um, using, 
Well, first you got to brainstorm, like come up with the ideas. What are people actually looking for? So part of it is, Hey, we need to figure out what from an SEO perspective is actually going to get uh, impressions and reach for something like YouTube, but also like, what are, what are people actually looking for based off of my thousands of conversations? Loan officers, you have conversations with people every single day. You have yep. conversations with agents every single day. They're telling you what they need in your conversations. You just probably aren't taking the time to think about what is the content that I can make because they're asking you questions about things every single day that you could make a video about. That you could send to them. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? Like, here's the guy. You know, not not talking about the uh, the guidelines or whatever, but uh, you know, you could make these little small videos around these guidelines and make it easy uh, to to digest. But I use ChatGPT a lot to create. Uh, uh, sort of frameworks, uh, script outlines. And then I use Claude mostly to actually write the scripts. Uh, and then I use manual oh, okay. uh, manual actions myself to, uh, like I, I edit it myself so that it sounds more like me. But Claude does a much better job of, of creative writing and things like that, right? And then in addition to that, I mean, I, I just have built the muscle uh, over the years of of content, right? I, I have just been doing this consistently pretty much since 2018-ish, uh, maybe even 2017. And so uh, everything is content, right? <laughs> everything I do, everything I do, like all day long, I'm like, oh, this could be content. Oh, this could be content. Oh, right. I listen to it. I listen to a YouTube video or a podcast or something like that. I'm like, oh, this is a great thing that I could post on social. Or I could make a post, a long form post about this. Or I mean, the NAR thing just came out. I just made a joke post, um, you know, little things like that. So it's just like, there's so many ways that you can come up with it, but it comes down to like, being intentional like you have to be intentional about yeah creating the muscle well and I, and I think what i love that you just said is your life is content and when you realize that it can't be business all the time like that's when seeing your life as content is is doable because right. through the through the the eyeballs of most los most realtors when they look at social media as a business tool well then going to the beach with their kids doesn't appeal it doesn't trigger them as content right. going on date night doesn't trigger them as content right. right like because your brain doesn't know how to connect the dots between beach with the kids and new lead right but when you and i realize that the name of the game is attention yep can i get attention well then now i know that man i can i can do that a million times over with everything I do. Mm -hmm. And my greatest tip for this is I, I just, I'm always taking pictures and recording video. How much of that makes it to social? Hardly any of it, but I'm just always capturing content so that at 9 PM on a Saturday night, when I'm like, Oh crap, I haven't posted anything this weekend. I've got new stuff that I'd captured over the last 72 hours that I can pull from. Mm -hmm. Is that similar to, to like the way you would do it? Yeah. I mean, I, a lot of it just comes down to like in the moment too, right? Like, like there's just in time content. Like if something comes out, you want to be relevant too. And sometimes people are like, Oh, everybody's sharing this meme. Everybody's doing that. It's like, but if you're like, if you're first, no one says that. But if you're like the 49th yeah. person that is sharing that meme, like three days after the meme came out, like some of this stuff you have to be like real, real quick with. Right. Yeah. And then the other side of it is like, you're, you're right. I mean, uh, your life is, is more interesting than you think, right? Because the truth yes. is people do business with people that are like them and similar to them have similar interests and things like that. And so just sharing who you are is probably the easiest way to attract people. Obviously you have to tell people what you do. One yeah. thing I have been not super great at is being pretty explicit as to what exactly we do. And yeah. so we're like, wait, you do that? I'm like, yeah, what do you, what do you think I do? Like, I'm like, what I thought I was pretty clear that I'm a freaking marketer. So right? Tell everybody. Like, not? So te yeah. tell, tell the audience real quick what, what you guys do at loans on demand. Yeah. So we help loan officers uh, ultimately flip the status quo on real estate agents, which basically means we help them get direct to the consumer, pair them with real estate agents that, uh, you know, want to reciprocate business. And that's the main thing we do. We have a bunch of other things we do as well in terms of CRM and sales training and a bunch of stuff like that. But ultimately we help you get direct to the consumer so that you have leverage, uh, over the real estate agents, right. And not so that you can be better than them, but so that you can be equal. So you can be someone of value. And it's not just about leads. It's not just about direct to consumer. It's about other forms of value. Right. And I think, that's one of the biggest things too, is people are like, well, I don't know what I have that's valuable. It's like, I guarantee you, you have things that are valuable. You right. just haven't thought about it. Or yep. if you, if you really truly don't have anything of value, then you really got to step your game up because we got YouTube, 
We got people like Kyle who's putting out free content. I'm putting out free content. Shane's puts out free content. Like everybody, like Next Level puts out a bunch of free content. There's a free community with Next Level. I mean, there's, there's I don't know how many content creators out there that are putting out free content. Go, go to YouTube. You don't even have to look at industry specific stuff. There's AI trainings all over the place. There's Google trainings all over yeah. the place. There's Facebook ad trainings all over this place. There's, I mean, there's, there's an infinite level of things that you can bring a value that is like at your fingertips. You just choose not to do it. Right. 100%. A lot of times. So, so good, bro. Where, where do people go to find you? Uh, Facebook is the, the main platform. If you wanted to follow me, Facebook, I think it's facebook.com slash L Shankula. Uh, you can loans on demand.io is our website. Um, but yeah, Facebook, shoot me the DM. Um, follow me there. That's usually where I put most of my content. I have a YouTube channel, Loans on Demand. I have a podcast, Loans on Demand yeah, podcast. Know. Got a bunch of bunch of free content. I got a Facebook group, Loans on Demand, something or other, sales and marketing and AI. I don't know, something like that. But basically, Loans on Demand everywhere. So good, man. I I can't wait for Wednesday for the value that you're going to bring because um, we get you for like 50 straight minutes of just you in that group, uh, guys, if you want to be a part of it, you can go to becomenl.com, go see what we're doing in the next level community. That there is not a better coaching platform for the buck than, than what we're doing for you guys. And so come join us, guys like Luke and, and so many others that are just so freely giving of their time and effort. And uh, we'd love to have you in there. And uh, bro, I'd like to report that um, as of right this second, let me do a let me do a Ooh. quick refresher. What did I I make that post like twelve minutes ago, nineteen minutes ago? You know, ten comments already that I wouldn't have had today had I not chose to make this post. So, thank you for schooling me, man. Hey, you know what? Sometimes best. we all we all learn differently, and I I I feel you because I felt the same way about those posts. I always thought it was kind of weird, interesting, uh, just kind of like, eh, I don't love it. And then as I sort of started to do it, I leaned into it over the last probably six months because I, I didn't do it a yeah. lot prior to like the last six months. But I mean, the engagement shows the, you know, the value shows. I mean, you know, the reach is going up, uh, you know, and just continue to be intentional huge, about putting out good value is is all this is the most important thing, right? You got to be a person of value. The reason why you have 10 comments is not because of the two-step post necessarily, but it's because you're a person of value and people want to see what you put out there. So first be a person yeah. of value and then you can start to use these sorts of uh, strategies. Well, and let me say it here that I am wrong and you are right. And I appreciate you schooling me today. Did you just, did you just say that? Wait a I second. did. Yeah. This is live. I said that live. Wow. Wow. I mean, you didn't yeah. say that behind closed doors, man. You said that nope. on a live, a live stream. You're welcome. Woo. Appreciate you, bro. That. Guys, thanks for watching or listening. We'll see our, our paid members in the group on Wednesday for Luke's masterclass on all the things we've talked about. And for the rest of you, we'll see you back next week on the podcast. Bye, everybody. Peace.